Hi guys, welcome to another video from Sikwa Bros. We made it to Aquashella, Chicago for day one. We're going to be showing you some of the highlights here. Overall, it was a great experience. We saw a lot of the fish YouTubers that we watch every day. Everyone was really nice and it was just a really well put together convention. So we hope you like it. So walking up, it was a bit of a gloomy day in Chicago and this weekend had a lot of storms and I think a lot of the fish YouTubers that were flying into this convention had some issues with flights, but it seemed like everyone made it in time and everything worked out. So when you first walk in, they just have this really cool black lit room with a lot of glow plants and decor. It's just a really cool room and vibe. For a lot of the footage here, I focus in on the fish tanks themselves. There were fish YouTubers throughout this entire convention, but just wanted to be mindful of their time and space, especially if they were already talking to someone or filming some of these tanks themselves. In this room next to me, Jason from Primetime Aquatics was talking to Team Aquascape and just didn't want to interrupt them. That's them over there in the right. This tank of blowfish was surprisingly one of my favorite things that I saw all day. It was just a really cool tank. And then over here is a neon lit pond from Team Aquascape. I talked to Ed from Team Aquascape over there, as well as Jason from Primetime Aquatics. I also talked to Zach from SE Fishkeeping, and just all the fish YouTube accounts out there. They're all here, and I was able to just meet them, which was really cool. I didn't have any footage of that, obviously, I didn't want to be rude with a camera in their face, but um, you might see them throughout each of these different clips. So starting off here is just a little flower horn that was the first fish that I saw. Definitely was not the biggest flower horn that I saw. That will be coming up at the end of the video, so stay around for that. And then here we have some African cichlids, including some hacks. Um, just a spoiler alert, we might be looking into a half tank coming soon, so stick around for that. And then there was a clown knife and then some corridors that were on sale. And then here is some African cichlids from Windy City Tropicals. In this tank there was a sand waterfall. I talked to the guy at the booth and he explained how this works. I wouldn't be able to do that justice right now, but just wanted to show how cool it looked. And then there was a blind aquascaping contest that was just really funny. And they did a lot of these different contests throughout the convention, which brought a lot of energy and excitement to the area. I didn't catch who actually won this contest, but it was just really funny to watch. I also saw Ohio Fish Rescue. It seemed like Big Rich was one of the biggest hits at the convention, obviously for good reason. Here were some of the biggest plecos I've ever seen, and this was next to Ohio Fish Rescue's booth. These are baby stingrays and one of the coolest things I saw all day. And then as promised, here are some of the massive flower horns. There was a whole corner dedicated to flower horns and some of these were just huge. It really doesn't do it justice until you see it in person. Actually, some of these little kids are poking the glass. You can see the size comparison that these are just monster fish, and I just can't even imagine how they got them to the convention and how they have to ship them back. Seems like it's gonna be a lot of work, and I thought about that a lot throughout the day, but um, just really cool to be able to see these all in one spot. And there's a whole different section for some of the saltwater setups and coral. If I was a saltwater guy, this probably would have been amazing, but for me, since I'm primarily freshwater, I didn't get a ton of footage here. 
but I did like some of the tanks and especially the hexagon tank here with the, the coral in the middle. And then I saved the best for last, at least in my own opinion. This paludarium really stood out to me and it makes me want to get one so much. This guy hanging up at the top just with the chiller or the fog coming down and then the aquarium down at the bottom is just awesome. So that's pretty much it. We really enjoyed ourselves at Aquashella and we hope you like the video footage here. Let us know what you think in the comment section below and thanks for watching.